Hi guys, welcome to the new video. Today we'll be reviewing a new paint that is from TD Combat. This is the company you may already know uh, from your hobby. They are selling everything that is connected to the hobby. Tabletop games, paints, accessories, painting accessories, everything. So yeah, I was quite surprised to hear that they are coming with their new paints. This is from their new Kickstarter. They asked us to review those paints, if they were usable and to compare those with the ones we were already using. We were presented with a wide range of colors. The most unexpected ones were washes. There are a wide, wide range of washes and you may think that they are quite similar in color, but actually they behave much different on each surface. At first I wanted to check if they are worth our time. As you may know, our company is quite big and we use a lot of paints. So the quality of those paints must be top tier. So I used those on the bits from Warhammer Fantasy that we were uh, having like spares. And actually it came out pretty nicely. It doesn't look much different than the paint of Citadel or Vallejo you would be using. And this is the second one. Like, I wanted to check how they glaze, how they behave on the uh, dark base color, on the, uh, on the white or bright base color. Uh, if the base color made of those would be opaque enough to glaze on this and I was quite surprised I didn't expect that much but it's not bad this is quite the same effect you would achieve with uh, Vallejo or Citadel or Game Color uh, paints so yeah it is worth our time but Will those colors make a good job? If you follow our social media, you may already know that um, our main content is painting miniatures and what are we the most proud of is painting freehands. We gave it to one of our most talented painters, freehands, uh, because, well, all of our painters are talented, but to do free hands, there is special skill. And we gave it to her, and as you can see, the results are spectacular. She did an amazing job, the paints were opaque, saturated, she achieved quite a nice effect on each and every freehand. The brush was going smoothly and she didn't have any problem using those. What I wanted to like get your attention to is that these bottles are quite uh, spectacular because they have one element that is very unique uh, and that is the bottleneck. which is very slim. This bottleneck is very slim and it may be uh, very problematic as well as very, very advantageous. 
The advantage of this uh, bottleneck is that you won't get the excessive amount of paint out of the bottle because you won't be able to. Only small amount. Also, the paint won't dry out that quickly. And if you use Citadel colors, you know what I'm talking about because the air is coming into the uh, packaging and the paints are drying out pretty quickly. With those bottles, it won't be that quick. The disadvantage of this uh, specific uh, bottleneck is that the paint inside the bottleneck can dry out quite fast and uh, make the paint stuck in there. It may be quite difficult to take out of the insides, but if you have a needle, it takes just a minute to get it out and you can paint. But actually, it happened just a few times with those bottles, so I am quite satisfied. To summarize, these are some great paints, both if you're new to the hobby and if you're experienced. These paints will bring some freshness into your painting miniature world. I highly recommend those to try out yourself. Tell us in the comments section, did you try it out already and what do you think about them? And until the next time, bye!